All right, let's play this in full first. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. Those are supposed to be for everybody? I only took a few. Yeah, I took a few hundred. All right, put okay. that back. Okay. Yo, keep this girl away from the ocean. That's where all the shrimp's at. <laughs> this look cracks me up every time. All right, I got a couple notes. I think this is all headed in the right direction. Um, the first thing on her, and I can bring down the sound here. I think there's always something that felt a bit odd with the walk. And I think to me, it's just, especially right through there. And it's a bit poppy how that knee goes forward, but it's that immediate bent leg where she's, she's almost not squatty, but she's always in this kind of a meek pose. Maybe that's also... To me, it feels like once he berates her, she could get into something where she's more, you know, hunched over and the way you have it here. And I don't know if that, if you need that at the beginning. There's something where I would just try this where you would have slightly straighter legs on that passing and don't bend so soon, if that makes sense. You'd stay on that, on the straighter leg a bit longer to then get into this. That's like my main impression, especially here. Like she suddenly has that dip in the root boop, right there. I would kind of tweak. Personally, I would tweak that just a little bit more. Watch out. You got a bit of a pop in here. How you go from your foot roll to a straight. Watch that. See that? You kind of start sliding off with your foot. And then it suddenly pops into this. So for polish, since... This is all looking really good. We want to get into those really fine tuny polishy things. Whoa. I think the eating's okay. It's definitely push in terms of how high and low it goes, but I think how far away we are from her, I think it's okay. Whoa. Easy on the, the other thing on her is when she goes back, it's a bit strong in terms of the stop. I like that you have a recoil like, and then come back, but there's something Whoa, easy on the shrimp. where it's almost like I, know, I would I would ease into this a bit more, so it's not such a strong rotation sudden stop. Definitely keep this forward move. Whoa, easy on the it just seems just a bit Whoa. strong and forceful how she suddenly stops. This might be very subjective, but Whoa, easy on the, shrimp. the rest is cool. I like that she has a bit of a look down. Shrimp. And then over, that's great. The other thing I was thinking, and for some reason, it never occurred to me, and so I apologize if I never mentioned this. There's something where, when she looks at him, he comes towards her so quickly and has that arm raise. Like, who knows how friendly they are? I'm not saying that she would expect him to punch her, but it could have a little bit of... Put that back where she has a little bit of a recoil and maybe a blink. This little moment like, what is he doing? Like, why does he get so close? But actually, since we're there, I will probably, I never noticed this either. This is we're so sideways where we can see into this hole. I think this feels a bit better. I would stay within this angle, closing up. So I don't see that hole in here. And at least seeing more of the thumb. Where here, it's again, it feels like that's a fist that he's about to strike her. I think if we are staying within this, like I like this a lot. It's a nice change there. We see still the thumb blocks out into a shape versus that hole there. Just as a quick aside, I never um, quite looked at that. But I think that's the main thing on her. It's just that little walk, especially this. This feels like she's suddenly stepping into a ditch and we're getting this quick dip and then that bend in the leg. Oh. Then I think that move back is just a bit strong. Just a little one or two frame, maybe two frames of slowing, slowing this down, slower ring. I was gonna say. This is cool. I love that she has a little dart. She follows him. Then I feel like that might be really something just to explore. You don't have to do it. I don't want to dictate acting choices, but it could be kind of interesting that she's a bit more aware of this and maybe surprised that. At what he's gonna do with a little bit of recoil, maybe a blink or half blink. Okay. <laughs> I like that, it's just great. For him, 
something. Watch out for this again for final things where when he goes back and moves the leg over, now the leg right through there as the, the heel goes down, that's when it really starts to settle on the ground where the, the muscles can activate and push in a way this way for him to stop going this way, right? Because you have that big root movement. But we're down here and then we are, what, a couple frames and immediately stops. I know this is a bit tricky because I like the lean. I like that it's all like this, but either take a stronger step and it might even move your, it might even just help to bring out the shoe a bit more like this. So we're not straight on. We have a little bit more of the heel. Maybe I can find a pose. Not really, it's also very, very straight on. But if, even that would help for contrast, right? We're straight on, takes a step, but we're actually, he's a bit more outwards. Because that could also kind of give us a bit more of almost the feel that it's more this way to push. But I was going to say, maybe reduce. Let me just go back here. No, see, I like the speed at which the root goes back. I think what I'm reacting to is just that the foot comes down and right when the foot has all the strength to stop the root movement, we're stopping right away. And it feels like we will continue for maybe five frames to go over there. But then I'm concerned that we're leaning too far already. It could work if you're like this and he has a bit more of a bend. That could work. Or my other thought would be to bring that leg a bit further back i'm exaggerating here but and maybe move out the shoe he might feel like almost a bit too v like this but it could also work in his favor like he's a strong you know v-shaped base there as like Rah, mad guy so just as a general thing you can add a few more frames and ease into this a bit more because imagine it's going to take some time for the leg to finally push this way and for the root to stop and turn because you're not super cartoony animation, so I think this is still within the more naturalistic feel of it. And then have it like that, or move the leg out a bit further. But I would still give this a couple more frames. It might even be a combination of these. You might be okay with leaving the leg where it is. I would still maybe move out the shoe a bit more for this kind of silhouette. But give this a few more frames to in and come back. Or you can do that and move the leg a bit further for more of a triangle pose. Maybe, just throwing that out there. The other thing is, I think this is still a bit too floppy. The amount of dragon in front, but especially this coming up. I think you can get to this and then stop a bit harsher. See that? It's just a bit soft and it's down and up. So well animated, it's got really nice, you know, triangle shapes, all that stuff is great. But I wonder if his, whoa, shrimp, like the energy and tension that's in here. Is he on the it's a bit betrayed by that soft move. Those are supposed to be for everybody? Only took a few. Yeah, took a few hundred. <laughs> every time. It cracks me up every time. Why put that back? Yeah, the other thing is, again, would be just, like I said, with the hands. And I think he's okay. There's a slight, I'm looking too high here. So I would watch your eye line. This could work, but then we're really getting a bit high. And that, I think you can go a bit lower with his eyes. Yo, keep this girl away from the ocean. I think this works better. It's a nice shape there. Got a separation, maybe a bit close for almost a bit of a tangent there. I would probably stick within like that gap, maybe a bit less. But this is almost like, is he not touching his nose or not? You know, either you have it under his nose and he's touching and it's the hand is on his face or stick within like this range of negative space versus right there. That's what we're <laughs> this makes me laugh. Uh, rest is okay. Happy super picky. I would try. It might get a bit too much, but it's always worth a try. Take just that one eye and move it out a bit to the left. I don't want it to be wall eyed. But there's, you know, you have to look at the amount of negative space, uh, white space you have here around this and how it's blocked by the nose. I know that's normal. It's probably all correct. But sometimes it helps to just move it out a little bit to give this a bit more white here to match this without it looking wall-eyed. You can try this out. 
It's kind of that. Little, little things here and there. You're so super close. My main thing is this. And then this is a bit soft. Gets, it still gets a bit more subjective. Him. Like her dip and this. Are for me a bit more technical things. That head thing is definitely subjective. I'll put this at the bottom of the list of notes. And then this hand pose, I would definitely tweak. But her reaction to that, again, is very subjective. I think it could be interesting for this, where he, she almost thinks he's going to do something to her. And then that's that. All right. Super cool. I still love this whole sequence. It's great. That's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.